Hello and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. A new video and the video series EWM Jobs. That's a series where I present to you jobs in the area of SAP EWM, where I think it is worth it to have a look at. With this one here, I have an offering that could really boost your career and that is probably interesting for you in case this picture here speaks to you on the first spot and you do have at least two to three years of experience working with EWM and preferably with EWM MFS, so the material flow system component. If I say, if this picture here talks to you and speaks to you, I do have in mind that we are talking about a job in a global environment. Yeah, so you would be working with companies from different countries, people from a lot of different cultures, and uh, the core of your job will be the analysis and the uh, solution determination for complex puzzles and problems in the area of warehouse automation. The, the job that I'm talking about is offered by the company Swisslock, so let us start this video here with a quick introduction into what Swisslock is actually doing and that you get to know the company that you would be working for. Uh, a global manufacturer of automation equipment for warehouses for intralogistics. That is the core of Swisslock's business. Uh, you see short videos here of pallet cranes moving pallets into a uh, highway warehouse or um, picking robots. Uh, Swisslock was acquired by the company KUKA a while ago. Swisslock also has uh, access and is implementing KUKA's robots within warehouse processes. Uh, so on a, on a high level, we are talking about a company offering warehouse automation hardware along with software solutions to control and run this hardware product. So Swisslock is a company with roughly two, two and a half thousand employees across the, uh, the world in many different countries with the head office in Dortmund, which is actually the place where you would be working at least parts of your time. And there's also a very, very flexible home office regulation, but um, your, uh, but, but a good part of your time should be working in the office in Dortmund. Having said that, it also helps to speak uh, the German language, but this is not a precondition here. To get more information about Swisslock as a company, you can look at the video here in, on their channel that I, that I linked here on the top, or you can visit their website. And uh, at this point, you might have a question, okay, what, what, what does this have to do with EWM and why is the manufacturer of automation, hard and software actually offering EWM services? Uh, they are offering their hardware, they are offering their own warehouse management system. And on top of this, they're offering EWM implementation services as well, services. So why is this the case? And the answer is pretty simple. The, the market demanded these services. Uh, there are many companies out there. You know that as, as well as I do, uh, running an SAP strategy, for example, on ERP side or in the production, and they also want to run their warehouses on SAP software. And along with this, they would like to implement Swisslocks automation hardware solution. So they need somebody to integrate this into their EWM system. And that is exactly what the SAP team at Swisslock is doing. Uh, they are building the bridge between SAP customers and the SAP world on the one side and the Swisslock automation hardware on the other side. And this bridge technically is built within SAP EWM as enhancements on top of the MFS standard. This is clean enhancement, for example, as part of bodies uh, or based on other coding. So you would not be working with a uh, separate software or a middleware between the PLC controlling the automation equipment and, and the SAP system. You would really be working with SAP EWM in SAP EWM 
even though we are talking about enhancement that the SAP team delivers in order to connect EWM with the SwissLog automation equipment. We are talking about typical software projects. Software is specified, implemented, and then set live at some point in time, and then the typical project realization is done. And on top of this, SwissLog is offering continuous support. So even after the go-live, it is required to have a team of experts maintaining uh, the the system. And we are talking about mid and high complex warehouses with a certain degree of automation. And many customers cannot or do not want to establish internal teams with the required knowledge in EWM and EWM MFS to maintain and improve those systems. And that is why SwissDog is offering a worldwide 24 seven service throughout the year. And this is the team which is looking for you and offering the job. You might think now that you would be sitting the whole day at your phone in a kind of a call center and uh, dealing with end users having problems using EWM, which is not the case. Uh, the job that we are looking at right now, which is called service engineer at SwissLog, is to a quarter of that time, roughly, actually doing a second and third level service, helping the customers with problems that they have with the SAP system. But this is not the first level. Usually the customer is handling the first level with the direct issues from the end users. So what shows up here at the service desk are rather complex topics and problems with EWM and EWM MFS that you can solve using your knowledge and in this context also improving your knowledge about EWM and MFS. Now that's only a quarter of your average working day. Uh, the second quarter of your task is in the area of project realization. So the customer service team is always integrated into the project realization and especially in the area of implementing and testing the solutions and then also the supporting the go live and the ramp up and the go live phases. The, the third quarter roughly is continuous improvement. So um, warehouses which are uh, running and live already are uh, continuously improved. Customers are handing in requests for changes in the configuration of the coding and those requests are being evaluated and implemented by you and the team. And the last pillar is the responsibility for specific sites and the relationship to the customers running those sites. Yeah, so keeping an eye on the satisfaction level and the potential spots and areas for improvement and evaluating and developing those together in a close relation with the customer. So in total, the position was very close uh, contact to the systems and to the customers, a position where you can have an impact on the on the operations and on the satisfaction level where you can also learn a lot by uh, solving those problems, being part of the project realization and also being in a continuous relationship with customers from different industries, different areas. With that, I would like to close this video. Now it's your turn to take action. Now think about whether it's time to have a change in your professional career and uh, whether you might want to take this step to boost your uh, technical, functional and also personal development. If this sounds interesting to you, you can send a CV and maybe a short motivation letter to swisslog at wmexperts.online or you just click the job posting which I added here to the video description which also gives you some uh, details about the position that I was talking about within the last minutes. With that, I wish you some good projects and happy learning, whatever you're doing right now. And uh, bye-bye, see you next time.